we continue from where we left yesterday about the Dulip Trophy 2024. It's time to look into the squad analysis of Team B now. And I have with pre on presence Rohan. Welcome to the show once again. Dulip Trophy firstly, starting from the 5th of September. So many experienced players are in the heart. I asked the same question yesterday to Deepu as well. How does it feel now? So many op opportunities are for grabs. A good trial ground, I can say, coming because uh, it's a long uh, test series uh, season. I had 10 test matches. I think uh, the selectors want to see all kind of options uh, because it, it, it's actually a reward for a lot of these players who are done well in the recent domestic season, uh, be it the batters or the bowlers. I think uh, good reward for them to get the game time here, uh, put their name up for selections, you can say, because uh, as I said, it's a long season. You never know who's going to get injured or out of form or whatnot. Uh, so, you need to have good backups because we don't know what happened in uh, Australia last time. Though it was COVID times, uh, you need to have some ready-made backups in case uh, uh, your so-called top uh, priority main 11, one of them gets injured or out of form. So, I think it's good uh, trial ground here, this Dulit Trophy. Generally, we see it in the zonal format, but I think uh, they want to put the cream of the uh, Indian cricket here and uh, some give some game time also to the regulars. Uh, absolutely. Before the uh, season of the test starts. Yeah, absolutely. That is absolutely correct. And you said about a lot of backups, and I can see all the four teams have equivalent amount of balance this side, and that's so good to see. And for Team B, it's going to be led by another young captain, Abhimanyu Ishwaran from Bengal. It's a massive opportunity for him to lead this side. Young in terms of what I didn't understand with him because he's been there on the domestic circuit. Long Absolutely, time. he's been here for uh, years, but uh, yeah, in terms yeah. of age, is just a number, I must tell you. <laughs> and also, he's been in the Indian squad also sometimes as a backup opener, just didn't get game time. I, I remember in the tour of England, he was there, but I think all those experience will uh, hold him a lot of uh, uh, better urban, is what I feel. But overall, excellent player, uh, thorough professional, I feel. As an opening bat, has the discipline and of course the leadership has uh, given him more uh, uh, benefit, I feel, uh, in terms of reading the game, analyzing and of course motivating the younger lot within uh, the Bengal uh, circles, I think. So, I think he's the one of the only guys, I think, who has a cricket stadium at Dehradun where he trains and he's still playing. I think that's some, Uttarakhand, I think it was in. Uh, so, it's a, a nice kind of a ring that you're getting to play in your own stadium that's named after you. So, I think uh, overall, his stats are also speak for itself. I think very consistent performer in domestic cricket. And a, a kind of old school batter uh, takes his time to get settled in and uh, then make it uh, big. I think a uh, good opportunity for him to make a name for himself. Because in Dulip Trophy, I mean, it's one more step ahead of the Ranji Trophy. So, uh, as I said, the cream of the talent of Indian cricket will be on display. If he can uh, perform as a captain and as a player, I think his name can get that little extra push uh, in the season ahead that is uh, that is absolutely correct from your end and he has so much experience and it, it also feels good that he has rishabh pant amongst the mix yes ashwi jaiswal amongst the mix yet he has been appointed as the captain also thought of behind that he has been made the captain just because the likes of pant and jaiswal will go to the test series against bangladesh and also due respect pant is pretty uh, coming back after his uh, layoff and stuff i think i don't think the Selectors wanted to burden him with an uh, extra addition of a captaincy as well. And Ishwaran being a slightly seasoned professional, I think they wanted to ease the team and uh, didn't want to have any disturbance, as you said, once the squad for the Bangladesh uh, is announced and uh, Rishabh kind of joins in there. I think just wanted continuity. I think that's the reason uh, Ishwaran is leading this team. But yes, yes, we all these guys will get some good game time here yeah. uh, against some good quality opposition as well. So I think good preparation. I think uh, overall, uh, as you said, Balance squad throughout the all four teams. Absolutely. Balance squad throughout the all four teams. We're talking about Team B at the moment, led by Abhiman Yeshwaran. Let's take a look into the squad, Rohan. And when it comes to squad for the Team B, Abhiman Yeshwaran, I think, will open along with Yashash Vijayaswal for sure. Then you have the Khan brothers. For the first time, they're playing together. We saw Mushid Khan having a phenomenal series, a Ranji series as well. And in the same day, we saw Sarpras Khan also getting a milestone for Team India. So, talk us through these four players, please. I think SSV, I think we all know the talent that he is. Uh, didn't quite get any games in the T20 World Cup. But uh, the talent that he has, especially in the last England uh, series, I think he was a player of the series by a mile. The aggressive intent that he showed. I think the bass ball was absolutely nullified by the jazz ball that we wanted to see. And... Uh, I think the 
uh, confidence the guy has for youngster in his own game, learning from his mistakes and uh, trying to dominate him, uh, the opposition. I think that's what holds good because IPL, white ball cricket is one thing, but in doing it a red ball, it's not easy. And, uh, and the conditions and keep on changing day in, day out over the period of the four, four days in a red ball game. So I think he has adapted his uh, uh, technique very well. And I think uh, he's coming to the forefront and big things are expected of him in this season because first season, generally, it's uh, easier thing. And second season, everybody kinds of... Uh, uh, sees what's your weakness and not and try to give you a better trial. I think this season, if he comes good, I think that will be a much more uh, evolution is of what uh, SSC Jaiswal will be seen, I feel. Because temperamentally and uh, his mindset, his headstrong, I think it's just yeah. that uh, uh, if he can uh, control his short selection a little bit, I think short that selection. will make him uh, a much better player in uh, Death Match Cricket since uh, the Australian Tour will be the higher focus than just the home uh, uh, couple of series that are here. But the Khan brothers, as I said, I think uh, Sarfraz, we have seen, has been a domestic bully for the last uh, four or five years and finally did get rewarded in that England series. But Mushir, being a younger one, I think in the under-19 World Cup as well, I think he's got the runs, but importantly, he started bowling his uh, left-arm spinners and picking up key wickets here and there. Even in the Ranji Trophy for Mumbai, uh, though in his debut season, he was already carrying the mantle of that batting lineup. And I think he got a double 100 here and in, in the knockouts one of them. Yep. And uh, consistently throughout the quarterfinal, semis and the final, he did deliver the big knocks. And I think that's what's good to see. A youngster coming in, taking that extra responsibility and delivering on the big stage against uh, better oppositions, not the the kind of the lower ranked teams that we do get at times in the Ranji Trophy, but against the bigger teams he did deliver. So, same like Sarfraz, I think, both these guys have the quality. I think they can play and serve Indian cricket for a long time is what I feel. But this will be the stepping stone for them. If they come good here, definitely it's like a tick mark in front of their names. Absolutely. It's a massive opportunity. And the entire selectors will watch this. So, if you can impress them, he had a wonderful under-19 as well, Mushid Khan. And similarly, now he's going to play alongside his brother. So, it's going to be a massive opportunity for them to capitalize. Going on to the next four, Rishabh Pant, the wicketkeeper batter. And Jagadishan is out there as well. So, a couple of very, very good players. Nitish Kumar Reddy is subject to fitness is what I've been told. So, he's somebody that's going to be looked into and Washington Sundar. So, you have the all-rounders amongst the mix, but wicket keeper batsmen, a couple of them is there. Nitish Kumar Reddy, somebody you can uh, have as a replacement of uh, or probably backups of Hardik Pandey as well. Yeah, I think that's the always the question in Indian cricket. Who next after Hardik? Because uh, the fragile nature of his body and uh, uh, kind of workload that he puts in, maybe not uh, a long-term horse is what I feel sometimes. And especially in overseas conditions like Australia, you need that third or fourth seamer who can keep the pressure on once your uh, regular paces are uh, complete the first spell, you can say. Because something like uh, Cam Green who does it for Australia, once the big three ball out, uh, someone like in Green can come in and keep the pressure up. I think Hardik, if he is fit enough, I think he'll uh, do that role pretty well. But again, the fitness is the question. So that's why I think someone like Nidish Kumar Reddy, if he can uh, perform well, because in his domestic career, he has done recent with the bat. But if he can deliver with the ball, because we have seen the last IPL, the emerging uh, play he did get. But I think it's bowling a little more consistency and uh, hitting that length hard, especially keeping in mind the Australian condition. You need to a ball that uh, pace increment as well. Pace, I think, is fine. I think it's just that the consistency to keep on hitting the right length because at times you can uh, experiment a bit or get frustrated and over try a little bit. I think that's where uh, playing a lot of red ball cricket, I think, will uh, help his uh, discipline with the ball is what I feel. Because batting is uh, decent. We have seen him. Uh, he has played on some uh, quick bowlers in the IPL and uh, hit a couple of few good shots. I think batting won't be a problem. It's just the bowling front if you can... Uh, Slightly improve, I think he's definitely a good option for us uh, in the long run. I think Washi or uh, Rishabh, I think with uh, tried and tested guys, uh, we know how they play. I think they are just in for game time. Washi, especially in case uh, someone like Ash wants to, maybe not in the home uh, test, but uh, in Australia, if they want to have someone who can battle a little bit more, out of Ash being a lefty, because even we saw at the Gaba, Washi's uh, runs uh, were very vital along with uh, Rishabh in that partnership. And uh, did a decent job with the ball too. I think he got Smith. Yeah, you're uh, big for the successor of Ravi Chandran Ashwin is out here. Yeah. yeah, but again, if you see throughout the four teams as well, there are a lot of upcoming offices. Tanush Kotian, I've seen Saran Jain, 
all these yeah. guys are uh, coming up but they'll still need to develop more uh, among all these i think washi has a slightly edge because of uh, the terms of uh, games he has played for india and the ipl i think that's where uh, he gets that edge and also the height uh, similarity that they have of course the state mate as well so i think uh, all those things aside but uh, all these guys uh, have done pretty well especially yep. jagdishan uh, didn't quite do so much justice in the ipl i feel because of maybe lack of opportunities as well or yep. even didn't capitalize on what he got but uh, last 4 5 years been a very consistent uh, batter for tamil nadu uh, top of the order got uh, big runs i think a triple 100 recently also in the ranji trophy so i think a good selection but it just that maybe once uh, rishabh uh, joins the test team uh jaggi may get a run in with this exactly. well. yeah i was about to say that because jagadishan the only game time he can get is after the second test uh from second to third just because rishabh might just go for international duties for the home test series against bangladesh moving on to now the bowler section you have ravindra jadeja yet to end all rounder he doesn't need any introduction but i'm excited to see how sai kishore plays because you will have one of the greats ravindra jadeja alongside you can he be groomed that way we can see a leg spin out here rahul chahar we have not seen him much in the red ball cricket and then we'll come on to the seamers but the three spinners in in front of you do one yeah i think starting uh, jaddu will uh, play the game i think only once jaddu moves on uh, to the test squad i think sai may get a run in here too but sai kishore throughout i think uh, last season even for the gujarat giants i think he was one of the standout bowlers in uh, t20 because being a left arm spinner generally they say a match up against a lefty batter it can be a slightly easier hitter but we saw he was bowling very uh, uh, good uh, line and the speed at which he was bowling it was not easy for someone uh, the lefties also to go after him and lot of times uh, the spotlight was on someone like a rashid khan but uh, sai kishore was the one who kind of uh, went uh, unnoticed and picked up key wickets and kept it tight and also we don't uh, realize sometimes he's a decent batter as well sai kishore has got some handy runs for uh, tamil nadu though he was captaining this season for them uh, he kind of promoted himself at uh, number 3 or 4 as well like at night watchman but went on to score uh, decent runs also for them in uh, key moments i feel and he brought the tamil nadu players a lot closer as a good well knit uh, solid unit unfortunately they lost in the semi final was but, he uh, really to be blamed in the final no that that coach uh, issue and whatever that thing happened uh, should not have come out basically but uh, end of the day it's a decision that you stand by and uh, hope uh, maybe next time you rectify it may or do it better but end of the day it's it's a sport when it happens but uh, i think that would have given him a much more better lesson on what to do and what not to do on certain conditions but as a player i think he's pretty street smart uh, has the height good uh, control with the new ball as well he can ball uh, we have seen him it's just that maybe a little more extra uh, what do you call one more step ahead we need to see him go ahead uh, the control a... which is needs needs to be taken into account is there uh, prithim i think warding feels is a little bit more variations at times he can be one dimensional if like on a pitch where it's offering something he is uh, pretty threatening but if it's flatter out he needs to be a bit more slow through the air or slightly quick. he needs to do very space a little more because he has the height he may not be able to uh, slow it down so much it's a natural length that they'll be bowling as a taller spinner i think if he just very shit or even the angle at times if he can do yeah. that i think that step up will become uh, easier for him because we have seen him in the asian games i think he bowled pretty well uh, on yeah. those small grounds in uh, i don't know where was it hangzhou or whatever was it called in china very it's small China, ground yeah. yeah to ball with control and don't get hit in those grounds i think that shows he has the uh, quality it's just that maybe at that international level if he can uh, do it consistently i think uh, he can also be a decent backup in case uh, yeah. uh, one of these guys is not available good and uh, i think and when you said that, about yeah. as you said i think you, long time sorry to interrupt but about uh, when you said about sai kishore and his control is angles i think i just want to say a prime example could be right now kesha maharaj because the way he's bowling uh, in test match cricket in the first test the way he bowled different angles in the post match yeah. interview was speaking i tried to put in variations with the seam of the ball and that's mm. terrific skills i must tell you and i think that's what you're indicating towards yes may- maybe even if you go a uh, generation b and maybe uh, someone like a daniel vettori you know he wasn't the uh, huge spin of the ball but the control he had uh, without much spin again it's all due to the pace variations and the angles because if you see the height uh, 
uh, maybe a Sai Kishore and Vettoria similar than a Kesho Maharaj because slightly shorter, I feel. Uh, I think if Sai can uh, imbibe whatever qualities Vettori could do, I think he'll become back more successful because yeah. Kesho Maharaj has been uh, playing for a long time and he has learned a lot playing in Asian conditions as well. So I think playing in some places like the West Indies, do respect to their batters, but quality of Maharaj can be very threatening to them for the uh, red ball cricket for sure. So I think Sai Absolutely. can improve a lot if he can uh, uh, take a leaf out of uh, Vettori's books. Absolutely, that is a massive opportunity. Then you come to the, the leg spinner, Rahul Chahar out here. Rahul Chahar, I think a uh, huge quality, just that maybe some discipline issues and uh, temperament, I think, uh, because we have seen him, he's got the control. Maybe playing a team like Rajasthan, maybe he doesn't get that much opportunity to play the bigger games uh, or even the conditions at times in Jaipur can be more seamer friendly, uh, doesn't get much uh, purchase there. I think uh, if you can move the state, if possible, to a slightly more uh, uh, spin friendly conditions, I think you can see a bit more uh, better, uh, what do you call it, the version of Rahul Char because we have seen him, he does that all those uh, funky run ups and stuff like that. So he has a, a game, I feel, the heart, but it's just that having that patience to be uh, balling at the same line and length because a leggy we know can get uh, uh, in sometimes a full toss or a short ball or something. So unless you have that consistency with the red ball, I think the uh, wickets will be slightly lesser because you need to keep on working on the batsman's uh, patience. I think if he can, because he's quite young, I feel, it's just that if he can bowl a lot of overs in domestic cricket, I think that's what uh, will make him a much better bowler. Absolutely. That will make you a much better bowler, to be honest. And we're talking about then Moving on to the seamers. We have a left-arm seamer. Yes, they are very talented. Alongside a couple of right-arm seamers. I think a couple of them are likely to be going to the series as well. Mukesh Kumar, Mohamed Siraj is there as well. And then you have the other one as well. So, what are your thoughts on that? Mohit Avasti is there. So, four seamers. You have to play a minimum of two, maximum of three, I think, in yeah. Indian country. Do you think a couple of Indian... The fast bowlers Siraj and Mukesh alongside yes they are. But talk us about Mohit Avasti, please. Mohit Avasti, I think, had a standout season for Mumbai. 30-odd uh, wickets, I think, uh, uh, in the entire season because a lot of their regulars weren't available. Uh, but uh, I, I'm not sure if you remember, the last final was uh, Dawal Kulkarni's yeah. uh, farewell. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. he actually sat himself out to allow someone like a senior of Dawal Kulkarni to play the final. That shows uh, a lot of heart from wow. the young boy because uh, being a leading wicket taker till that time yeah. of Mumbai's uh, pace attack, to sit out and allow your senior to have a wonderful farewell, that shows uh, there is no, uh, uh, what do you call, uh, he's not uh, scared to leave his spot out because uh, uh, he knows uh, he respects the senior as well. Correct. Uh, but uh, he's quite uh, a veteran, you can see he's about close to 30, I think. Uh, he's getting his credit now. I think uh, he's a pretty uh, good workhorse, you can say, uh, similar to uh, Dawul Kulkarni, the pace-wise or anything, but does the uh, move, the, move the ball a little bit here and there. And in morning conditions, he can be a handful, I can tell you. But uh, definitely, even with the older ball, he can be a good reverse swing bowler, attack the stumps and get you those LBs or anything if the uh, bounce is a bit uh, unpredictable. But yes, Dayal, I think, will be a guy again to watch out for because India is looking at uh, uh, lefty Left seamers. seamers. yeah. Yeah, with someone like Ashdeep is there, Khalil is there. Uh, if uh, someone like uh, yes, Dayal also Dayal. can do decently well. Uh, if not into squad, I think he can be with the reserves as a net bowler or anything to give the main team a good amount of practice. I think th that's what I think he should be initially aiming for because he has the uh, goods we have seen in the IPL. Bowling in uh, Chinna Swami, not easy for a CMA man. He still got back around, but still came that uh, got those wickets uh, that shows a uh, good temperament, the heart to ball uh, in the tough conditions. I feel Siraj, I think, is a proven performer. I think he just wants game time here. Mukesh, as well, especially with red ball. And I feel has a more outside chance to be the fourth seamer in Australian conditions, uh, especially places like Perth, where we may just play Jaddu alone and the four seamers, along with your uh, tried and tested try of Siraj, Shami, and uh, Bumrah. Mukesh can be much more uh, better because of his length and uh, he may not experiment too much compared to your yeah. other bowlers. I'm just looking at the conditions only. Even if he picks up a handful of a 10 wicket haul at Perth, I don't mind. Next test, if it's Adelaide, it's not doing much for him. Please sit back, allow somebody else. I think that's the kind of uh, yeah, horses the courses we need to uh, look at yeah. because Mukesh has that uh, good C presentation, a bit like a Shami version. Yeah. And again, 
proven workhorse in domestic cricket for Bengal. Has done uh, really well along with someone like Akash Deep was there. Who did play a couple of tests against? Uh, yeah, he England. played a couple of tests against England. Yeah. Well, I think we are blessed to have such a battery of fast bowlers coming in, man. Absolutely, so many, and you, you as you can see, in all the four teams distributed so well. So many talent. Fast bowlers we have in the ranks and kudos to that. But the squad is done and dusted, Rohan, out here. What about the fixtures? And Team B, led by Ma Abhiman Yishra, takes on Team A, Shubman Gill, in match number one at the Chinnaswamy Stadium. If you look outside your window, you will see the Chinnaswamy Stadium very close to your house as well. But this is the first game. Then they move on to facing Team C and then Team D. Shreya Shahi is one of the captains and then you also have Ruturaj Gaipot. So, Opportunities are there for Abhiman Nishwaran to lead from the front against such uh, talented uh, Indian players. Huge opportunity. I mean, whoever you play, I think the first game could be, as you said, in Bangalore and the other two in uh, Anandpur, the new venue that there is there. But uh, here in Bangalore, definitely there will be something for the seamers. So, how well you can uh, play your game well because the conditions in Anandpur may be completely different. So, your adaptability in both conditions will be tried and tested for uh, especially the A and B team uh, players rather than the C and D. Because uh, C and D, I think, I feel honestly, this A and B team both na, are slightly a better batting uh, unit Absolutely. in A and uh, yeah. in the B squad, I think, slightly better bowling attack. So, I think it will be a good contest to watch out, I feel, compared to the other uh, two teams without disrespecting them. But as a, but as a squad, even, even I was about to say, no disrespect to other teams, but I think C is the most weakest out of the all. Uh, you never know, I man. The conditions sometimes can ease it out too. I mean, we never know in the first half, sometimes the ball does a bit and uh, toss factor so can that. come in as well to level it up. But yeah, on paper, as you said, the C does look a bit weak. But this A and B game to open the Dorip Trophy, I think they'll be keenly contested in case uh, the B team gets to bowl first against a strong batting unit of A. I think that'll be a good contest to watch, irrespective of who gets how many runs or wickets. I think as a contest, we'll love to see this head-to-head, uh, uh, -head, man. Absolutely. We would love to see some three player matches for each. After the first match, we will see the squad to be announced for the Bangladesh series. We might see some of the international players going to that one. It will be interesting, but Abhiman Nishwaran will be the captain for Team B. What about the SWAT analysis, Rowan? I have the SWAT analysis according to me. Talking about the strengths, as we said, quality opening duo led by Abhiman Nishwaran and Yashashwi Jaiswal. The weakness is that uh, middle order, you have Rishabh Pant, so many aggressive middle order. But what, what about that? The opportunity, I think, will be Arsai Kishor, as I said, alongside Ravindra Jadeja. How will he be groomed? I'm very excited to see. And as you said about the pace attack, Mukesh Kumar, Mohammed Siraj, yes, they are. Talk us through this SWOT analysis and what about your thoughts? I think you nailed it, uh, Pritham. The opening partnership will be pretty good because Ishwaran is a solid guy and Ashashwi likes to play his uh, strokes, definitely. But uh, what follows is also pretty decent. You know, Mushir and uh, Sarfaraz, I think, are uh, pretty talented young guys who will love to uh, cement a spot in the Indian team shortly as a, as a long-term prospect. Uh, add to it, Mushir's uh, left-arm bowling also can be a added advantage for him. But as you said, the middle order like Arishab or uh, Preeti Shreddy, again, subject to fitness, can be a bit, uh, uh, I won't say, uh, it's kind of opening that uh, other teams there, can exploit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and maybe not as uh, threatening compared to other teams. But definitely for uh, guys like uh, Sai Kishore or... Uh, uh, Oh, is that yeah, more Jaddu, yeah, I think Jaddu will play, man. We know what you get from Jaddu day in, day out. He'll yeah. be there and there about attacking the stumps, LBW here and there or uh, outside edge. And of course, with the bat, we'll be looking to give a bit of a sword finish here and there and uh, uh, in the field as well. But uh, overall, I think it's a good team. The weakness, as we just uh, said there, but how a Siraj can get you that... Uh, uh, rhythm going before the test match along with someone like Mukesh to be ready as a replacement in case Shami is not available instantly because Mukesh will be your uh, backup seamer, I feel. So, I think how these guys uh, can get into that rhythm straight away lead up to the test match, I think that will be more focus uh, compared to your result or the or stats in general. Absolutely. That is absolutely correct. We will see that. SWAT and is done and dusted. What about the five players to watch out for? Yeah, the five players I have selected. Abhiman Nishwara, the skipper, Mushir Khan, Washington Sundar, Sai Kishore and Mukesh Kumar. Probably you might just say Yash Tayal as well amongst the mix. But what are your five players? And if you can sum it up, please. Uh, 
I'm hoping that if the uh, squad uh, uh, is announced after the first game, I think uh, uh, the other two games is what you will be looking at to as a overall uh, picture of the top five because who will be playing all three games is what I'm looking at. Uh, definitely, someone like uh, uh, Sai Kishore will be one of the main picks for me, and uh, Mushir Khan. I think these two guys will be the ones to watch out for in this team. Uh, the captainship of uh, Abhimanyu Ishwaran uh, being a senior pro there, I think how he does it will also be keenly watched. Uh, Washi's uh, development with the ball uh, and with the run, uh, with the bat as well. Uh, when in case he has to deliver under pressure or batting the tail, I think all those things will be uh, much more uh, keenly watched. For, definitely for me, uh, how he develops into that uh, uh, three game situations awareness basically how we handle it i think uh, that will be something to ponder over for the selectors mukesh i think uh, he'll be a standout guy definitely on these pitches man he is uh, senior enough and experienced uh, to know what to do and what not i think uh, uh, i think that experience will be shown in this uh, game definitely so no changes for you from the five yeah. players to watch out for Okay, yeah. fair enough. So, no changes for you. Uh, let's take a look into the predicted playing 11. Here is my predicted playing 11, Rohan. My openers are Abhimanyu Ishwaran and Yashash Vijayaswal. Mushir Khan at 3. Uh, Rishabh Pant at 4. Sarpraz at 5. Nitish Kumar at 6. Then you have Jadeja and Sundar are the two spinners. And my three seamers, as you can see. Any changes for you? I'm just looking if uh, Nitish Reddy isn't available. Who will come in? That is that is subject that is really interesting to see. And I think... Then you need to look into here and there a little bit of batsman or maybe a Psyche Shore might just come in. But that will add up to Psyche Shore Long and Ravi being, yeah. be, being the same kind of a bowler. Yeah. And even Mushir as well. Then so you need to add, I, I think then you need to add Jagadish and is the only player. That will That's be what like, you're asking. Maybe if you want a Jagadish as a backup player, uh, it will be a decent enough uh, replacement because you need a bit of a batting in his... Uh, uh, top th two or three fall early because all these guys are stroke makers, man. You don't know, you don't want a 30 for three exactly. situation, uh, straight away. I think that'll put you on the back foot. Uh, I think maybe Jaggi can come in for Nitish Reddy, uh, in case he isn't fit, but uh, other games definitely once Rishabh goes, I think Jaggi may come in and uh, Nitish yeah. Kumar Reddy can slot into his uh s spot as well. I think overall, decent uh, 11. I think this is what will continue once Jaddu goes back. I think Sai Kishore, as we spoke, and uh. Uh, who is that? Mohit Avasti can also come in for Siraj, etc. I think overall good. Or who knows? Maybe someone from the outside also can chip in. I yeah, think yeah. we are not uh, spoken three, four names which are not part of this squad or any of the four teams. I think uh, someone like a Rinku or a Sanju. Rinku Singh, Sanju, nah. Cheteshwar Pujara is there. You have, you have Rahane as well. Those, the experienced ones are also there, I must tell you. Do you, do you want those two guys back? I think that will be a subject, a uh, <laughs> different thing in itself. Uh, due respect, I think once the Australian uh, series comes over, I think then these two guys can be considered, I yeah. think, because their value will be much higher there than at uh, home. Uh, you never know, man. But interesting choice is that the first test for Indian team is against uh, Bangladesh is at Chennai. Yeah. So, what what would be your thoughts? I, I think I should go with one seamer, which is Bumrah and the four, seam, four spinners. Uh, I think you may want the second seamer because uh, I know it may turn straight away, but... Uh, in case we have to bowl first, I think uh, you may need that second spinner because we don't have somebody in your top order to bowl even a bit of medium pace if required. Yeah. Like uh, how uh, Dada used to do for us. We used to go with Sina. Uh, Kohli ko bowling though, I think not <laughs> sure yeah, uh, what will happen there. But yeah, maybe in Indian question, you can straight away use Ash and Jaddu with the new ball. But uh, uh, you don't want to go that way because you want your seamers. I mean, due respect to Bangladesh. Uh, India would like to have a good uh, game time and a kind of a fight uh, before going to Australia than have those uh, three-day quick finishes, I feel. Okay, so you're going with two seamers at least for the Test Series, which means that this is a very good side and that sums it up pretty much Team B squad analysis. Thank you so much, Rohan. Really balanced side, I must say. They're going to play the first game against Team A at Chineswami Stadium. Looking forward to it on the 5th of September. Thank you so much, Ron. Thank you to all the viewers for watching this one. Team B is done and dusted as well. Two teams done, two to go as well. We will be back tomorrow as well. Don't forget to subscribe to Fifth Empire. Press the bell icon as well. Thank you so much. And bye-bye.